you Google Prescott, Arizona and what it's known for, the exact words used are authentic cowboy history, whiskey row, moderate climate, and convenient livability. Prescott offers hidden gems of every sort just around the corner. One of those gems happens to be the ORO Ranch, and it is not so hidden anymore. The ORO Ranch, or the ROs as it's known throughout cowboy country, contains 257,000 acres through some of the most beautiful parts of Arizona. There are also one of only two ranches in the state of Arizona to win the prestigious Best Remuda Award. Not only does it take great horses, but also the right kind of horses, the kind that the ROs have bred since long before the American Quarter Horse Association began. Paying homage to them and their successors today, AQHA presents the ORO Ranch with the 2022 AQHA Best Remuda Award. Jane Watson Irwin Dropa. And I'm Larry Dropa, and along with our three children, Jack, Daniel, and Catherine, we're immensely proud to be the owners of the ORO Ranch in Prescott, Arizona. In 1821, there was a Luis Maria Baca family in New Mexico that had a 500,000 acre ranch. During the Mexican-American War, Americans moved into that ranch, which is then the town of Las Vegas, New Mexico. And the Luis Maria Baca family said, hey, wait a minute, we're Spanish. We, we aren't Mexican, we shouldn't have lost our ranch. And Congress, the American Congress said, oops, you're right. Uh, we will give you a land grant, but we do not want to give you another 500,000 acre chunk. We will give you five 100,000 acres in the unsurveyed part of the West. So their, the Baca family lawyer went out on horseback and surveyed five plots of 100,000 acre squares. The east side of this ranch is the Luis Maria Baca float number five. The Greens had the ranch from 1937 until 1973, and when we acquired the ranch. And we sure hope to keep the ranch and our family ad on infinitum. We're coming up on 50 years. Neither the land nor the remote ORO have changed much since the ranch got its start back in the early 1800s. It is still some of the roughest untamed land in the Southwest, with elevations ranging from 4,000 to 7,500 feet. The ranch is divided up into five year-round cow camps that are individually manned by a cowboy. It's a horseback operation in horseback country, running yearlings in about 3,000 pairs of all natural cows and calves. It takes top hands on top horses, well beyond the limits of four-wheelers. I think what makes the ROs really unique is we run a wagon spring and fall, not because of because we want to or because of just tradition, but because we have to. There's very few roads on the ranch and it's very rough, so we, we camp wherever we're working. I think what makes our remuda special is that we raise the horses to work the ranch. We don't concentrate on competitions and, and special events, uh, but it, as a general rule, we raise the horses here to be working horses to support the cow-calf operation. An active AQHA ranching heritage breeder. The ROs annually donates a weanling filly to the Ranching Heritage Young Horse Development Program. We donate a, a foal, usually a filly, uh, to a young person, in, typically in Arizona, and uh, they go on through the first year and start the training process and keep in contact, great kids, and we love seeing how they learn and progress with the horses. The first line of business has always been, and still is, 
to produce good ranch horses. Their goal is to raise horses with good bone, good feet, deep heart girths, and a lot of natural cow scents that cowboys like to ride. The Green Cattle Company brought up a lot of really good horses from Cananea, which is the basis of our horse herd. Green had five stallions tracing to American Quarter Horse Foundation sires, such as Peter McHugh and Steel Dust. One of these stallions was Sykes, a sorrel son of Peter McHugh, who sired El Rey R.O., a chestnut colt out of an R.O. mare that became a primary foundation sire for the modern R.O.s. El Rey R.O. went into the first stud book as number 896. And the horses are outstanding and, and have a long history of that. Not a lot changes because we use the horses to work cattle and that's their purpose, but bloodlines are always evolving. Some of the RO's studs include a son of one-time Pepto, a stallion that came from Tongue River Ranch, who is a grandson of Meekum Blue, a stallion that came from King Ranch by Kenyanos Moon, to name a few. A breeding operation would be nothing without mare power. The ORO puts a great emphasis on its mares, particularly those that descend from R.D. Peppy Checks and the daughter and granddaughters by Dual Winner and TRR Janie's Playgun. Mare power is everything, in my opinion. We have a long history of a lot of really good mares, and if you follow that line back and you look at the best horses in the Ramuda that we have, it's all about mare power. It's a tremendous honor for us to have received the 2022 AQHA Best Ramuda Award because it helps to validate the efforts that have been put forth on this ranch for many generations of both horses and cowboys to establish the fact that they're great horses, they know the country, they work this country well, and we have bred horses here that grow up learning what it's like to negotiate this country. The reason we don't raise horses here just to compete in, in competitions for awards is that we need them here to do the work that's necessary for the cat. So the horse program is designed to make the most of the, of the horses that we have bred here and make the most of their working life to help the Cowboys do their job. AQHA is proud to present the ORO with the 2022 AQHA Best Remuda Award.